Sweet emotion. There's a sweet kind of Talk about things that nobody can. Win it, bam, 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 bam. Talk about things that nobody can. Win it, bam, 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 bam. Hello, welcome. I'm Kyle Fines, and this is my YouTube show called Drunk Movie Day, the show where comedians and myself get drunk and review a movie. This idea came about many years ago when I realized that movies are getting worse and worse and harder and harder to sit through. So I found turning to alcohol really helped this situation out. I have a great guest today on the very first episode. We're gonna bring him on and then we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do today. I'm very happy to have him on. He's a dear personal friend of mine. He's a very funny man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Cameron McLeod. Oh, hey, Cam. Hi. Hi there. Great to see you, Cam. Hey, everybody. Thank you uh, for joining me. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. I'm glad you could make it. Very excited. Do you have any drunk movie day stories of your own? Do you have, have you ever? Well, I mean, as far as a, a great drunk movie. Yeah. Um, old School. Oh. When Old School came out, yeah. it was probably uh, the biggest sort of party. Yeah, I feel like there was like eight of us that just like got very drunk. Yeah. And then went to the theater. Was it day, night showing? What was it? It was a matinee. Oh, okay. And... We all walked to the theater, very drunk, watched the film, and I believe partway through, because it was a matinee and it wasn't busy, mm -hmm. a lot of our shirts came off in the process, because <laughs> we got that drunk. Uh, so Cam, here's how it's going to work. Right. Normally I would just pick one and we would go to it and you wouldn't have a decision in it. Right. Uh, today you still don't really have a decision in it though, it's going to be by chance. So there's going to be two movies, Okay. and we're going to assign them heads and tails. Uh -huh. And we're going to flip for it, and okay. then that's going to be the movie we're seeing. There's a theme today. Uh -huh. I don't know why I picked this theme, but it's the number three. Okay. So today, there are two choices. Again, not choice. Are uh, Cars 3 oh God. and Despicable Me 3. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Heads is going to be Despicable Me 3. Mm -hmm. Tails is Cars 3, okay? Okay. All right. Here we go. No! <laughs> Wait, it's heads. What was heads? Despicable Me? Well, uh, as we're going to start every show, before we go to a movie, uh, I have two lovely shots of whiskey here for me and my guest. What should we cheers to? To Steve Carell. Glib, glib, goo, glib, glib, glue. What? I think that's Minion for cheers. <laughs> Oh, that was a huge shock. Oh my god. I can't wait to meet my brother. We're back! Hi. Did you have a good time? I've never been surrounded by so many kids. <laughs> So many booster seats. Yeah, a lot of booster I almost tripped over the booster seats. <laughs> when we, wa we walked in late, the, the lights were down. And we walked in late, and there were so many booster seats, just like ready for parents to grab as you entered. I almost tripped over them. I don't know um, what it is about kids' shoes and their tiny legs, but that on plastic is a real or... rap a tat tat. I think when you're, I think under the age of 10, you're constantly just. I think you just are constantly hitting your feet against things. What did you say you've seen of those? I saw the first one a long time ago. Don't really remember. I think it was like seven long. years ago now. Yeah. In the first one, he's a supervillain, yeah. and he has some daughters that he has to adopt. How he adopts those kids? three kids. But why does he do that? Like, there's just... it's, They're like... They're three girls yeah. that are... Is it... Maybe it's... Was it a relative? How the hell did he get those kids? I don't know. It doesn't matter anyway. That's all I can think about now, though. <laughs> he cares about his children. He does love his kids. No matter, he's mean to everybody but his children. 
Well, I think the first one he was like a real grump. Well, in yeah. this one he tries to kill like an old man. Like he thinks that he's killed him. So there's this old man who comes to give him a message and he turns a vacuum cleaner right. into a rocket and he assumes yeah. that it killed him because yeah. when he shows back up, he's like, "Oh!" Yeah, and it like shoots off. Yeah, and then blows it up. So there's like a nuclear sized yeah. explosion in the background. Yeah, and then he has a real laugh about it. He's like, "Ha ha! I killed somebody." And there's all, and this was in front of the kids, I think. Yeah. Why don't you explain the plot to everybody? <laughs> really? <laughs> <That's>... Yeah. <laughs> so he is hanging out yeah. with some men. He's like a superhero now, apparently. Yeah. And there is a 80s uh, child star. Yeah. Who is trying to steal a diamond, which for some reason is on a freighter in the middle of the ocean. He, the, the guy gets, but then the, uh, because the 80s guy's dressed in a fat suit. The 80s guy is always listening to 80s music. Long story short, yeah. the diamond gets cut, gets caught, gets re-stolen. So Gru finds out that he has a twin brother named Drew. And so they go visit him on an island that it has way too many pigs on it for some reason. And if you yeah. love the minions, the pigs are the new minions. I guess so, yeah. Pigs are the new minions. The pigs are the new minions. There's pigs everywhere. Yeah. A lot of gags with pigs. There's a cheese festival. Tiny Boots dancing, which is my favorite part. Oh, Tiny, Tiny Boots. boots. Yeah. This children's movie yet. has three subplots. So four stories overall for a movie for children. Well, no, it's because there's four stories, so it's like they don't need to understand what's going on in all of them. There's just a lot of action and everything is happening, and the minions sing a lot. But in gibberish, which is kind pretty of funny. Fun. It's pretty funny. Minions are... Funny. I like the hair plugs of the minions too. A lot of hair plugs. Yeah, they got a lot of bald, a lot of bald stuff in this movie. The bad guy has a bald spot. He's got a he's got a high top fade. Yeah, with a but then a bald spot with a bald, with a bald spot. There's also a point at the beginning where uh, <coughs> Gru uh, gets all of his clothes blown off. Uh, by oh yeah. Oh no, he has a, a, a guitar, guitar that sh blows an incredible blast. When he plays the jump, bam, yeah, bam, plays bam, 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 the beginning bam, bam, to jump by Van bam, Halen, bam, and it blows all every bam. ten year old's favorite song, yeah. jump by Van Halen. Obviously, six year olds love that song. Yeah, he falls into this balloon that pops, and now he is hanging from the front of this floating, now floating because of other bubbles, uh, yeah. uh, uh, ship that's going through the city, and he's hanging off the front. And the way he's hanging, it's like he's wearing like a like a uh, a woman's so cut I, bathing suit, maybe. Yeah, like a Borat almost. Yeah, like, like a, a Borat, Borat, like a, like a wrestling uh, unitard or something like that. And by this office party that's having a happy. Do they see his ween? They no, there's no. Do they ween. do they? There's see no ween? ween. There's no ween. There's no butt. There's nothing like that. It's just him in this pink sort of weird huh. onesie situation, and all of them pull out their cameras and start start taking photos of him and laughing at him. When really. I mean, I think that's pretty cool. You think they would laugh in real life, or would they just be more shocked? Like I think they'd happened? be like, because they don't like what the twentieth floor. Yeah, we're on the twentieth floor. We're having a birthday, and all of a sudden, not only is there a giant floating freighter in yeah, the there city, was the freighter. there's this guy that's hanging from the front of it. I'd be like, what is happening? Like my last worry is to take a photo and laugh. Well, you at might this take guy. a photo, but you wouldn't laugh. You'd be I wouldn't more be like, like Haha, look at this idiot. I'd be like, there's a giant freighter careening towards our office building. Yeah, yeah. And who's going to eat this cake? Because there's a birthday cake. And who's going to get it? I would probably, while that's happening, I'd probably get into that cake. I'd get all the flower pieces, and then I'd just run away. Really? The flower pieces are what you go for? You know, what's your favorite part of a cake? I don't really like cake. Wait, if, if it's an actually... Actual, I, don't, I mean, cake... Why don't you like cake? It's a lot of sugar. It's just it's just a weird colored sugar. The flowers are just pure sugar. I don't want this. I don't want it. Give me the chocolate. Give me a chocolate mousse. Uh, no. Give me a pie. Give me... What do you have for your birthday then? Ice cream if not cake. a cake. Ice cream cake for the past 34 years. I'm 30. 
Seven, that's six. So two years you didn't get what you wanted? Or you just don't remember? No, that's a lie. I saw a photo of me at my fifth birthday and there was a rocket ship cake, which was pretty dope. I, I bet you loved it. I did love it. I also, there was also this weird photo I found of myself at a Chuck E. Cheese. And I was like, why is it a weird photo? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's like, I'm like in like grade two maybe. And it's like a photo of like, my friend sitting at a table, and then me standing up on the bench, like leaned over on the table, and behind me is the guy in the Chuck E. Cheese outfit, and he's spanking me on my butt with his tail, but the end of his tail looks like a huge dick. And he's spanking me on the ass with his dick tail. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> what the fuck? There's a part where the brothers break into the bad guy's hideout and everybody in the theater, young and old, were dying. They were having the time of their lives. Dying life. laughing. They were having the time of their lives. It was a real comedy of errors. Like he and was it, trying to climb up in his suit and then he would fall back down. Yeah, they had supervillain suits that had all these different... Sticky like, things, yeah. Like, fate, like sticky attack mode and yeah. all this ninja But he couldn't stuff. climb. But he couldn't get ahead. He just couldn't figure People it out. People were losing their fuck... It was like Eddie Murphy delirious. Like, kids... <laughs> Where it was like Apollo. It was like Apollo Jeff yeah. comedy jam. Yeah, it was. Children. Yeah. I think I saw one child stand up and go, oh, and then faint. <laughs> and then faint over because it was so amazing. Well, I mean, we've been talking a lot about how good the movie has been. <laughs> now it's time to get into some of the... Oh, now you want to you take it apart. I mean? Now you, you want know, to we give the compliments and we give, you know, it's the classic. This was good, but you could work on this. And then maybe. Yeah, like what you well, do after a first date. And then, a first, that's what you do on a first date. Yeah, I'm when you're done, I'm when you're done a first girl. date, you Isn't say. It's been a really great night. So nice to meet you. Here's what worked. But. Here, no, you say, no, you start with the good news. Here's what worked, but maybe for next time. <laughs> we don't. Go to a cockfight. Yeah. Or you don't bring me to your friend's uh... wake. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about openings of movies. Yeah, openings of movies. My favorite opening mm -hmm. of any movie. Dazed and Confused, Aerosmith. I was going to say my favorite opening is Christmas at the Cranks. What? Yeah. What happens? The movie starts. You're, you're getting ready for Christmas with the Christ. You know, <laughs> when those minions weren't busy farting, I really wish they explored the mother-daughter dynamic. Now, don't mislead <laughs> people. No one ever farted. It was just a fart yeah. sound with their mouths. A lot of, there was a lot of that. But no real farts. Yeah, you'd think there would be. Or is that like, can you not do that in a kid's movie? Can you not do an actual fart? I think you can probably do a fart. Let me say this. Yes, please. Um, I'm going to say this. I was enjoying the movie. Say it. Yeah. Uh, but the movie itself, in its entirety, was ruined when you mm -hmm. decided to interrupt a scene that had Little Boots in it, which is my favorite character. Yeah, Little Boots was his Little Boots was my favorite character. And he, you decided to hit me and say, hey, and pointed to his own legs and said, <laughs> look at these muscles, and tried to flex his thighs. That's when you interrupted a scene with my favorite character, Little Boots, in. There's a lot of lettuce on the top of there's this. A lot of, there's a lot of mayonnaise. There's a lot of mayonnaise on that. Wow, that's a lot extra of mayonnaise. Extra lettuce, extra mayo. You're going to get it if you order it. Oh, the movie ends with not... It ends with a dance battle, but then ends on a dire straits, the beginning of... The same when he just like... Gru gets his blow, clothes, his blows clone off. Blows clone off. <laughs> In the beginning of the movie. You gotta explain it, yeah? With the jump. Jump. Keytar. Ah, ah, yeah. Now he has the keytar at the end. Yeah. And he shoots off brat villain's clothes off. But instead of Van Halen jump, he plays the opening to Dire Straits, Dire Straits Money Sharp. for Nothing. Oh, it's Money for Nothing. I thought it was Sharp Chris, man. That's ZZ Top. Right. Wow. No, you were talking about if there's a fourth Despicable Me, which you were calling apparently. Uh, 
They left it open, you said. At the end, it's all good. Gru and his brother Drew, who wanted to be a villain, but then came uh, around and was like, oh no, I'm going to be a hero with you. At the end, he ends up doing something that is like, oh no, he's going to be a villain now. I got us some presents while you were outside. Minion theme. What is this? Yeah, open it up. I don't know, I got it from one of those two dollar things. What? Oh. What? I got the child. Thank you for this. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. This has been very fun. Yeah, thank you so much for being on the first Strong Movie Day. How can people find you online? What's your name on Twitter? Clam McCloud. Clam, Clam McCloud. as in the water shellfish and McCloud as in M-A-C-L-E-O-D, the Highlander. I was, I was waiting for that. I was. Do you usually say that? Like, hi, like the Highlander? No. What's your favorite Highlander out of the four? The first one. Really? Did you hear that? That's disgusting. <laughs> I think, guys, I think that's going to do it for <laughs> us. I think that gross throat burp is the end of this episode. Despicable Me, more like Despicable Us. Tune in next week. Mm -hmm.